Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago kind of set discussion video thing here on the channel. And once again, we are looking at some of the newer sets coming out for this year, or at least the first half of 2020. And I'm only going to be doing a few of these videos, so don't get too excited. I'm not going to be talking about every single set from this wave, just a few that I think are outstanding or need talking about. I'm already working on a Thunder Raider video that might already be out at the time of making this one, or it might not be. I'm not sure which one I want to go ahead and release first, but let's go ahead and talk about these things. These are the new Ninjago spinner sets. These are the arcade pods, as, and as you can see, they're not really spinners. They're just kind of in place of the actual spinner, I guess, set placement thing, because every Ninjago wave has a spinner set. We don't have that this time around, but instead we have these $10 little cheap impulse buy sets, and I bought all three of them. This is all three of them that exist at this current point in time. Kind of wish we had one for each individual ninja, but I'll get into why that probably is not the case in a few minutes here. But we do have one for Lloyd, one for Jay, and one for Kai. And we're going to go ahead and talk about each one of these here. Well, let's go ahead and talk about, uh, let's do Jay's first, you know, because Jay is the main character of this season from what we can tell. We're going to go ahead and talk about his arcade pot first. All right, so this is basically what you get with Jay's arcade pod. We're going to go ahead and move the actual figure and the pod itself out of the way to quick take a look at the box. You can see Avatar Jay in the front right there looking pretty cool. And again, these aren't really reviews of the sets. I'm just kind of talking about them here. We have all this stuff. You get two figures, all this kind of stuff. Apologies that it's upside down. There's not really a lot of space on my desk. We have a nice image of Jay there on, this, on the back. You see an actual size version of the figure and all the kind of stuff that you get in this set. And on this side, you can see I did purchased this from Kohl's a while back and there's all the barcode stuff in case you guys want to go ahead and look at that. That's pretty much all there is for the box. Let's go ahead and get the box out of the way but I really do like the way that these boxes look. I like the design for them. They look like arcade machines and I feel like they're kind of uh, cool little boxes to keep so definitely going to keep those boxes. Now bringing back in the actual arcade pod with this version of Jay, just taking a look at this really quick. Again, you do get two figures in this set and we'll go ahead and get the other version of Jay out of there so you can take a look at that as well. But first, I guess we'll go ahead and bring in this arcade pod so you can kind of see what Jay's avatar looks like in there. Looking pretty cool and you can also put that figure in there as well and we'll get into more on how to get those figures out here in a minute. But let's go ahead and get him out here so we can compare the two Jay figures. All right, so this is basically what we are looking at for the J Arcade Pod. This is the actual Season 12 version of J, the Digiverse J, or the Digi, Digi J, however they want to pronounce that. And as you can see, it's a very nice white and blue figure for J. I like the way that these guys look, and as you can see, he does have a little health bar on there, which has his life points or whatever, and it does attach via a bar, which just attaches in a hole in that. And you can still fit swords and stuff in here, like here is a random silver sword for Ninjago you can go ahead and slide that in there and it works you can just have to slide it in like that and it works like that you can fit two of them back in there and I like these versions of the ninja I think they're pretty cool they have this nice little VR helmet uh, piece thing with their symbol and the actual face itself is a VR kind of mask on the back you can see we actually do have a regular J face going on back there and overall this J figure is pretty cool I like the designs of the ninja this go around at first I was kind of iffy on them but as I kind of look at them a little more I think they're fine and the avatar versions of the ninja at least for the majority of them aren't really bad there is one that I think is kind of bad and we'll get to him later in this video but this is basically the avatar version of Jay getting Digi Jay out of the way you can see how what this guy looks like and he has Jay's hairpiece colored in white which is a really good uh, kind of find and he does have an opposite face as well where he's kind of yelling and he is kind of a musician he does come with a guitar that we'll look at later and overall this figure is fine I don't really like how he uses the exact same leg printing as this version of Jay because the other Ninjago avatars don't do that and it just kind of seems lazy. I'm not quite sure why. But the reason why we don't really have uh, arcade pods like this for all of the ninja is because this is an actual complete version of the Season 12 version of J. And if they did that for every ninja, then people would just buy the little arcade pods to get the ninja, and they would not buy the actual overall big expensive sets that you kind of have to buy if you want to get the ninja from actual sets, which, you know, isn't really too great, and that's probably why we only have three of these arcade pods. But bringing in the actual arcade pod itself. This is Jay's. As you can see, it looks fine. Uh, it does have a lot of stickers, and that's something I do not like. This is all a sticker. This is a sticker. That's a sticker. This is a sticker. Basically, every single print 
print that you see on this is a sticker, which I really don't like. Here we have Prime Empire. That's just what that says. It just says Prime Empire in the Ninjago language. And I'm not too big of a fan of that. Again, I'm not quite too big of a fan of how these things are actually uh, stickers. I don't like that. The actual design of the arcade pod is fine as what it is. You know, it's certainly an arcade pod and they open up from the back here. You can just go ahead and do that. And here we see all of the accessories that you get. We get Jay's guitar. You get this little uh, game con game controller piece with a little bit of a, of a blade on there. And the set comes with a multitude of other blades. And you can see a stand there. You can see a figure here. You're just supposed to go ahead and put the figure in there like that it's kind of easier said than done there you go and then you close that up and now he's in there so overall that's what we're looking at here for these they're not really too uh bad little sets they're definitely something and let's go ahead and take a look at kai's so here's kai's as you can see same type of stuff going on here we do have the digiverse kai or the digi kai whatever you want to call this one there's what that looks like he looks kind of cool and we're going to go ahead and bring in the avatar version of kai to go ahead and compare the two minifigures and this is the two figures that you get in the set you get regular digi kai and the avatar kai avatar kai isn't that terrible i like this recolor of the hair in this sort of a it's kind of like a banana yellow i think that looks kind of cool so you can see he's got his kind of red shogun appearance going does he have an opposite face he does not kind of unfortunate there um, don't know why. You can kind of see some back printing there looking pretty cool. Overall, this figure is fine. You can kind of see some digital kind of texturing on his uh, on his chest there. Not really too terrible there, honestly. And this version of Kai right here is, again, the Digiverse or the Digi Kai. Looking pretty cool. He has the same health bar that Jay has. All of the ninja have the exact same health bar. And Kai's suit all around looks cool. The red and the white really doesn't throw me off too much. There's what his face looks like with the VR headset on. And here's what it looks like from the back. He kind of has a scared or a little bit of a shocked expression. And again, I like this design for Kai. All of the ninja suits, I was kind of worried that the white would not fit for them. But it works for Jay and it works for Kai. It basically works for everybody. So again, not really too... Uh, you know, not, I didn't really expect that is what I'm trying to say. So I'm happy it kind of works out. And these two, I guess, suits for Kai aren't terrible. I like this avatar version of Kai. I think it's probably my favorite avatar version out of all of the ninja. And my least favorite will be coming up here in a little bit. A little bit of foreshadowing. Now bringing in the actual arcade pod itself, like the J arcade pod, it does have the same problem with the overabundance of stickers. Again, that's a sticker, that's a sticker, that's a sticker. And this is a sticker. Kind of annoying. You also do get, I forgot to mention, you do get extra stickers in these sets as well, little uh, sticker sheets that you can just kind of slap all over this thing. I'm not going to do that because I feel like it'll just kind of mess up this sticker because a sticker on a sticker probably is not very good. And that says uh, Prime Empire as well in the Ninjago language, if I can read it, which I most certainly cannot. But flipping that open, you can kind of see what Kai's accessories are. You get a stick of dynamite, you get a game controller with a blade, and the game controller piece is really nice. It comes in that gold. I believe it comes in white as well and kind of a blackish reddish color for the villains. And he comes with fire. And you can go ahead and put Kai in there, just like so. Close that up, and there you have Kai in the actual arcade pod itself. And you can go ahead and bring in this version of Kai as well. And bada bing, bada boom, there you go. You got the Kai Arcade Pod. Let's go ahead and talk about Lloyd's. All right, so here's Lloyd's, and Lloyd's I have a little bit of an issue with, and it's nothing to do with the actual Arcade Pod itself. It's more to do with that figure in there, which I which I do not like, but uh, we'll talk about him in a minute. Here is the actual Digiverse version of Lloyd. I keep on saying Digiverse, but it doesn't say Digiverse. It just says Digi, 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 Digi Lloyd. Digiloid, I guess. And he looks fine. You can kind of see the actual mask on him and the smiley face that he has on the other side. Looks perfectly fine. And I like this design for Lloyd. Again, the white kind of suits him, I feel. And he does come with one kind of, uh, what is, what would you, what kind of green would you call that? It's not a sand green. It's kind of like a, a palish green, I think. It's kind of like a, a lime almost, but not as drastic. But overall, this figure looks fine. He comes with the exact same health bar, and these things do kind of stick out like a sore thumb. I made an Instagram post a while ago talking about how they look on the shelf where they just cover up the other figures, and if you take it off, it doesn't look terrible either. But in order to complete the look, you kind of got to keep it on, so I'm going to opt to keep them on. But overall, this version of Lloyd is not bad. We're going to go ahead and put him on a stand and bring in the monstrosity version of Lloyd, which I do not like, and no matter how many times I kind of sit there and look at this figure, 
I don't really care for him too much. I do not like this version of Lloyd, and I know a lot of other people do not like him either. But let's go ahead and look at him nonetheless. So here's what we got going on with Avatar Lloyd. And you can kind of see, he doesn't look very good. He looks kind of weird. I feel like maybe if he had a similar situation going on, like the other Avatar Ninja, where they just had a recolored version of the regular Ninja hair, I feel like it could work a little better. Maybe if they redid this hair piece in gold, I feel like it might work. Because the Mohawk, no. No. It does not suit Lloyd, in my opinion. Now let's go ahead and see what this looks like. See, this doesn't look too terrible. If they would have just went ahead and made this a different uh, color, you could make that gold if you wanted to. He looks fine like that, but unfortunately the actual set has him with a mohawk, which does not suit Lloyd. The actual rest of the figure I think is fine. I like the kind of outfit he's got going on here with the green and the gold and the little hoodie back here. I just don't like the hair. I feel like the hair does not suit Lloyd very well. And I don't like it. I, I just don't like it. Maybe some people like it, and that's great if you like it. I just do not like it, because I do I do not think it's good. I, I do not. We're going to go ahead and take away this figure really quick and bring in the actual arcade pod. Here's what that looks like. Same issues going on. Sticker, 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 sticker. And overall, it's kind of like the same basic design. All the arcade pods kind of have the exact same design going here. And if we open that up, you can see Lois accessories. He comes with a sword again made out of this controller piece, a cricket bat. Or whatever that is <laughs> and we kind of see where uh lloyd gets attached kind of in there Let's close that up and we never open that again he just kind of stays in there so overall this is basically the lloyd arcade pod it's not terrible like i feel like it's the same as the other arcade pods sure and i like this version of lloyd right here i do not like that avatar lloyd at all just doesn't really suit lloyd in my opinion it looks kind of kind of weird kind of dumb but bringing in the other arcade pods here uh, you can kind of see how they all look together. And again, this is all we got right now. We got one for Kai, one for Jay, one for Lloyd. I doubt that we're going to be getting any other arcade pods for any of the other ninja, unfortunately. But this is kind of what we got going right now. And of course, you've got uh, these suits lined up as well. I did not show the boxes for the Kai and the Lloyd arcade pods just because... The boxes all look the same, and all the arcade pods essentially are the exact same thing. However, I do feel like it is a great way to go ahead and pick up the actual main versions of the ninja with the full armored up version and the health bar. I feel like that's an excellent way to go ahead and grab those figures. And some of the avatars, specifically this one and this one, are pretty good. Uh, the, Lloyd, the Lloyd avatar is not good. I don't like that again. Uh, but overall, it's not a bad deal for $10. You get two figures. You get a nice little arcade pod with some awesome pieces. You can go ahead and customize these things to make actual arcade machines out of them if you wanted to do that for, like, your Lego City or something like that. And I guess the accessories are fine as well. You get a lot of those transparent green blade pieces with a, like, and I mean, like, a lot of those transparent uh, green blade pieces. So overall, it's not a bad deal for $10. Right now, you're looking at like a $30 value here because they reach 10 And I'd say overall, it's worth it. It's an easy way to get the figures and the arcade pods themselves are not too terrible. So for a final verdict, I'd say go ahead and grab these, if you, especially if you are a Ninjago fan on a budget. This is a good way to go ahead and get started with collecting the actual Season 12 versions of the Ninja, and the other stuff that you get in the sets aren't that terrible either. So I'd recommend picking these up if you are a Ninjago fan, especially if you are on a strict, tight budget. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout-out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including the Marvel Jan. Thank you so much for pledging the $10 tier, and we're going to go ahead and get the Patreon sorted out very, very soon, so be sure to stick around for that. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.